this is Anna Hur for Planet Nation, and today I'm interviewing uh, Celine Saba, who plays the role of Susanna in Samuel Adamson's production of Wife. So Sam has written a play uh, that crosses four generations um, within one family. Um, it starts in 1959 and it ends in 2042. Um, and I suppose it charts the decisions that we make in our lives, whether small or big, um, what we feel we need to do to survive um, might not always, be, not always be the right thing, but um, how those decisions affect the lives of the future generations. Um, it's very really interesting. Yeah, yeah. So a young girl called Daisy in 1959 makes a decision about a relationship that she's having with um, another woman, Susanna. And actually Susanna also makes a decision about that relationship. And that decision influences the generations that come after um, this character. Her performance in the play resonates, like I was saying, and affects the people around her. More so in 1959 when she's in love with the woman who comes to see her in the play. Mm, that's a really interesting role to play. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. We also have a very, like it's a responsibility also to get all those doll's house scenes right as well. So not only have you got the inner life of the play, but when you play Nora in a doll's house for the page that you play her, you've got to absolutely be there as well. Okay, so uh, tell me about, a bit about your journey to becoming an actress. Yeah. Because you obviously love it. <laughs> um, so I'm Lebanese and I was born in Beirut um, and I wasn't sort of surrounded by the world at all. Neither of my parents are in the world and, you know, I was born actually during the civil war in Lebanon so it wasn't kind of a theatre going world at all. <laughs> Um, I can understand that, <laughs> yes. Uh, but, but what did actually happen was uh, my mum, I think it was my mum, but somehow I had all these videos of the old MGM musicals. And actually my mum isn't really a fan of them even now, so I don't actually know how I got them or who exposed me to them, but they were in our house and I watched them. So, you know, The King and I, The Sound of Music, My Fair Lady, or just those classic and I became slightly obsessed and all I wanted to do is watch them and reenact them. My earliest memory is of I had this plastic doll's house. We moved to Cyprus because of the war and I had this big plastic doll's house and you know if you took out the plastic rods it was just this huge plastic sheet and I remember I was probably like I don't know like four or five and I wrapped this huge plastic doll's house around me, spread it out around me and then pretended it was Anna Leonone's big skirt in the game eye and I sang to all the children like getting to know with this displeasure because that it I was just obsessed. And that's been my that has been my first love is all those musicals. I my family moved here in nineteen ninety-three. Um and I went to university and I dropped out because I was very unhappy. And I auditioned for drama school and I got in. But it was actually a classical drama school. I thought I would do singing and all I wanted to do was those musicals and actually it hasn't worked out that way at all. Um, what attracts you to Susanna? What, what attracts you to this character? Oh my gosh, um, her strength. She's strong throughout in different ways. Um, the fact that she is living her life in 1959 the way she, she chooses to live it and it feels like society has let her do that. She understands that there are rules that you have to abide by, but she's very comfortable in herself. I think her personality, I think, I think she's kind of played the game enough, she's worldly enough to know how, there's just something very charming and confident and ease, easy about her, where I feel she's really kind of like slipped through the nets of society and gone, this is me. And you know, she's sort of un untraumatized by the choices in her life that she's made, which is not always the story, you know? 
but certainly when you're first introduced to her in 1959, she's extraordinary. So why is telling LGBTQ stories important? For me, it's just about keep telling stories and keep and keep making it important to tell these stories and getting it out there and and also tracking the the challenges. This play really tracks the struggles, the challenges, the elations, the the the, the tragedies. The I've learned so much in, in in my research as well. I've learned so much about the past, you know. Marie Antoinette. I didn't know that Marie Antoinette had relationships with her, the women in her court. I mean, amazing. Me neither, but it doesn't sound surprising. It, it's, it's inc I've, for me, it's just been inspiring. I'm Middle Eastern, and I do a lot of, you know, Middle Eastern -y plays, and those are also to get behind the hijab, to get behind the Muslim stereotype, to inform. The play opens in theatres on May 30th Yay! in the run up to London Pride. Are you attending London Pride? Oh my god, do you know what? I've never been to Pride. You have to. I've never been to Pride <laughs> because usually it's on a Saturday yes. and I usually have two shows. Well, try to make the time. I know.